Hello, my name is Christian from Tradevola, trading with know-how and transparency. Today we want to talk about ETFs, also which different ETFs um, exist. We want to give you some examples from two, two different companies, uh, which are the biggest uh, ETFs uh, providers. We also want to show you how to buy ETFs uh, with Interactive Broker. And in the end, we want to give you a short summary. So if you want to see more videos related to trading, please subscribe here to our channel or leave us a comment with any other topic you would like to talk about. We are happy to provide you more information also on ETFs. If, there any, if there's any ETF you would like to have more information, just let us know. We are happy for every comment you leave here. What is an ETF? ETF is an extraded, uh, exchange traded fund. What does it mean? At the end, it's um, like a fund what you can trade normally at a stock exchange uh, like any stock and um, there are several benefits of an ETF. It's the diversification, so it's the same like what you have with a fund, you trade not only one stock, there's different stocks included, so uh, you can invest in many different um, single stocks just by buying an ETF. There's also more trading flexibility because um, you have a very high variety of different ETFs for different markets, for different um, exchanges, for different, different industries. And um, also a main benefit is the lower cost comparing especially to funds. You have a really low commission. We will also show this later in Interactive Broker. What is the commission? What is the commission for ETF? Also um, the tax benefit because uh, comparing to a real fund uh, there's a lower tax so you have also yeah, tax benefits uh, when you buy an ETF comparing especially to, to a fund itself and um, also the investment amount normally some funds you have a minimum investment um, with ETFs depending where they are traded you can even buy fractional shares or fractional part of the ETF. Um, so I think these are the main um, benefits of an ETF. And now I want to show you how to trade ETFs uh, with Interactive Broker and what are maybe a good um, choice for ETFs um, here to trade with uh, the TWS. For this, we will go to the screen. Yeah, to trade ETFs with the TWS, it's really simple. It's almost the same like stocks. I uh, just want to give you some hints how to find a list of ETFs. If you're here in the Mosaic version or in any other layout library, you can just add a watch list. And under library, you find here sample ETFs uh, from A to M, from N to, to Z. And if you're inside the European Union, you should check for sample outside US ETFs because as soon as you choose the first list, uh, these ETFs are normally not tradable for European Union citizens as long as you don't apply for the MIFID um, or for the professional status. So it's not so easy, but for this, you can also check here the video for trading ETFs for EU citizens. There you will find all the information and we will just have a look here on the sample ETFs outside the US. Every time you will see the sign here, NT, not tradable, you know, these um, ETFs are not tradable under uh, all of the normal accounts in the European Union. Outside the European Union, you should not see this and even ETFs which are not from the US uh, are also affected. As we see here, these three, uh, these three ETFs are not tradable. And then in the next step, you can just click on any ETF. Let's uh, take that one from the London Stock Exchange and just go simply here, buy, choose the size, the price and um, submit your order. It's the same like, um, like I said, with the stocks and from the mobile app or from the client portal itself. It's also pretty simple, pretty easy. I think one of the benefits is really the sample ETF list. And also there is a layout library. I want to show you if you go to file, open layout library, you find under all the sample ETF layout library i already opened this with a yeah as you can see here a list of etfs you can see these are all us etfs with their sign not tradable 
and I think it's also pretty simple to customize these layouts. Just go here to the lock and you can change the information or the tools, what you need here or what you don't need. Yeah, it's a good way to start with the ETFs. Um, and you have here really your portfolio, your other watch list, what you can include here. You see all your orders and trades. You have an order entry window chart. If you need a second chart with a different time frame, I think there's also space on the right hand side to just maybe delete the news or here the order window. Um, but I think for the start, it's uh, yeah, a really good um, layout to get started to treat trade ETFs. And what is also important to know um, to trade ETFs, especially if you trade here with uh, interactive broker or like what we have here, SysTrade as one of the introducing brokers of IB, you have a list of commission free ETFs. For example, you can see here there's some rebate program I think Wisdom Tree is one um, of the biggest ETF providers, but all information and a list of all necessary details for ETFs you find also in the description or on our website. You can download here the latest ETF playbook for free. Just check the description and go to our website and uh, download all the information you need to get started with ETF trading. So let's check, for example, this commission rebate program, as we can see here for all people in the US, this is for free anyway in the IB KR Lite version, but for the rest, you need to held these ETFs for 30 days. And I think for a long-term investment might be interesting to check also here, these commission-free ETFs and yeah, everything else, like I said, just check on our website, the latest. Let us know which ETFs you are interested in. Just write a comment and we are happy to provide some more information on um, the ETF you are interested in. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to not miss any of the upcoming um, videos. And um, yeah, let's talk about uh, the rights for ETF. Here it's the same like uh, with stocks. And uh, if you want to see more about rights uh, for uh, ETF or stockholder, you can also see the video here. For ETFs itself, um, we have um, non-equity and uh, equity ETFs, like the name it already says, um, ETF or stock ETFs uh, are invested in single stocks. This can really um, be from 25 stocks up to 7,000. There's really a wide range um, what can be included in ETFs. And for non-equity ETFs, mainly they are invested in bonds or commodities. Um, what makes it also interesting because, interesting because you have so many choices to um, invest at the end in every niche. Uh, if you want to invest in Africa, Asia or some specific countries in, in some industry, you can find all ETFs um, for everything you are looking to. And then in ETFs, we also have um, active managed ETFs and non-active managed ETFs. I think the biggest uh, ETF itself is the SPY. Um, what is the ETF um, index on the S&P 500? So this is a passive uh, managed ETF. It just tracks the, the index itself. And um, at the end, it's the same like, uh, like a fund, but with the different uh, like difference, like I said in the beginning, an ETF is traded like um, a stock in an exchange. You can um, see different prices um, during the day. And with a fund, you have maybe one price every day where you can buy or sell. So ETF gives you even the possibility to get a cheaper um, entry price. And before you start to invest in ETFs, there are really complicated strategies. I really recommend to get a little bit deeper in the topic um, of ETFs and maybe a special ETF what you want to buy. For this, we want to see two examples of um, two of the biggest ETF providers, what is Vanguard and uh, iShares from BlackRock. And for this, we will have a look again here on the screen. Yeah, let's start with the iShares Global Clean Energy ETF from BlackRock. As I said earlier, you find also all these information in our ETF playbook. Link in the description or on our website for the free download. On iShares website, you find all information what you need for the ETF. All the key facts, for example, which exchange, how many assets are in the ETF, what's really interesting. Also, if we scroll a little bit down, 
is the percentage of um, stocks which are holded, always updated every day. And you can find here biggest weight is here N phase energy incorporation. And you have a list of all different uh, stocks which are included in the ETF. You also see the sector, for example, equipment, semiconductor, renewable electricity, also in which countries are most of the investment. What is quite interesting after United States and China, we have Denmark in Portugal for this clean energy ETF. And I recommend no matter which ETF you choose to always have a look directly on the ETF provider website where you find an overview of all necessary information, what is needed. And the second ETF uh, is something totally different. It's Vanguard Extended Duration Treasury ETF. It doesn't invest in, um, like the name already says, in single stocks. It's more related to bonds. Also on Vanguard, you have a lot of information and all necessary details, uh, what you need to know. I think mostly interesting is also the uh, explanation here from the fund management what they are exactly doing here and same like iShares you find this all on one side with um, yeah all the details which are needed for the ETF and especially for iShares like I said it's also included in our ETF playbook as many other examples and uh, yeah necessary information also dividends were paid when you hold an ETF also, this information you find here or in our playbook. Same for the iShares Global Clean Energy ETF. And yeah, for everyone who is located in the Europe Union, we also have uh, examples for ETFs which are tradable inside the Europe Union in our ETF. Now, after seeing all the details for ETF, we come to the summary. And I think um, ETFs gives you really a good chance to invest, especially for long-term investors in special industries or in special regions and comparing to funds it's uh, much cheaper what i said in the beginning tax wise and um, also for commission so it's a very good alternative for everyone who is looking for some long-term investments and don't want to trade a single stock because you don't have the time maybe to um, get deeper in this uh, topic what is important if you're based in the europe union you can't trade all the etfs for this please also see the video here um, how to trade ETFs in non-EU um, yeah, EU regions and um, yeah, if there's any ETF you want to talk about, feel free to leave here a comment. You will also find the ETF playbook on our website. See the link in the description. There we give you an overview about some really interesting ETFs, how to get more information, commission-free ETFs, so it's really worth it to have a look. I uh, would be happy to welcome you here again for the next video. So please um, subscribe to our channel, leave a like if you like the video and uh, see you soon. Thank you very much.